Do you think this hurricane season has been quote unquote quiet? Well, let's talk about why you might think that and give some context. So far this season, we've seen six named storms, five of which were tropical storms and one a major hurricane, a category five hurricane that rapidly intensified. That was Hurricane Aaron last month. And actually having six named storms up to early September, that's about two above normal when you compare it to climatology. So now let's compare that to what we had last year in the 2024 season. Up to this point, we had five named storms. Of course, we might be a little blindsided because we were hit by barrel last year. And of course, any year you're hit by a tropical system, that really influences your perception on what happened that season. But besides that, in September and October and November of last year, we had 12 named storms. We had six in September, four in October. We doubled the amount of storms we had last September and October compared to what we had leading up to the peak of hurricane season. So in terms of this season being quote unquote quiet so far, we have seen the bulk of the storms that have formed stay in the Atlantic and away from us here in Southeast Texas and pretty much away from the Gulf. But it's the next few weeks, September and October. This is when we really have to keep a close eye on things. Point being the brand new outlooks that were just issued for weeks two and weeks three of September. So next week and the following week, looking towards the mid to later portion of the month, both of them highlight the Caribbean, the Gulf, and and the Bay of Campeche as areas of potential future development. Again, it's not a guarantee, but just goes to show that September and October, these are weeks and months to watch.